and welcome to episode number 31 of Creating a Legend. I am the FM Novice. It is Boxing Day. We have the Christmas jumper on. We are no ho hoing all the way to Alexandria for this crunch tie in the Ukrainian Premier League. Before we go into the game, we have just come out of the winter break and it was our chance to strengthen the squad and maybe move some players on. And it's been an abject failure. We are incredibly frustrated at the moment i say we i am incredibly frustrated we are 1.8 million pounds in debt at the moment we are overspending on our wage budget we have no transfer budget available and nobody wants to leave the club nobody wants our players either i've been offering out about 15 16 players including all the the, the rubbish kids regens that no one's ever seen they've all been offered out I've tried to cull as many players as I can, and one player has gone out on a permanent deal, which we'll get to in a moment. No players have come in. It's been a fantastic window. It really has. I think this screen sometimes will highlight just how tough it is for us. Look at last season. We look at prize money. We got to the semi-final of the Ukrainian Cup. We finished sixth in the league, mid-table finish. We got nothing, absolute nothing. We look at TV revenue. Even though we have a game on TV pretty much most weeks, we get selected for TV, no money coming in for that. This is a Premier League of a country and we get no money whatsoever from winning, doing anything or being on the telly. That ain't right. Surely that ain't right. And it's, it's making this challenge very, very tricky. In terms of our projection, it's very consistent downwards. We are supremely struggling to compete. We have to effectively get into Europe where we actually do get some prize money for us to have any chance of doing anything financially. But to get into Europe, you want to spend money. And we are already spending a lot of money. £800,000 last year on wages alone. Staff wages of 240000 Big money for a club of our level. 145000 on bonuses. So they're getting rewarded for doing really well in the Cups. But we're not getting any money in from the league for doing well in the Cups. An interesting challenge, this certainly is. The only bit of transfer news is... Well, I lie there. The only bit of permanent transfer news is Glushy has left the club to go to league rivals at Dnipro on a free transfer. I've been trying to get rid of this guy for about a year. He's a decent player for us, but we had better options. So we're trying to get rid of him for about a year. He turned down a couple of clubs who actually paid, offered us money. Then someone offered him a free transfer and he accepted. And I just said to the club, OK, you can have him for free now. Gets us off the way, gets £500 a week off the wage bill for the next four or five months. So we are saving a little bit of money there. Other transfers that have gone on, we've sent a few players to our feeder club, Arsenal Kharkiv. Mikhail Chernik and Ruslan Mikhailov, two of our better younger talents, are now out on loan to other clubs for the end of the season. And Lennart Bolin has gone back to Sweden for another six months or so. Neither three of those guys are anywhere near our first team as yet, but we have high hopes for the future. And as you can see, transferred in, none! So the team for today's game is Eugene Past in goal, a back four of Gelchik at right back, Kravchenko at left back, Stavok and Jose Luis at centre half, Kizil from the right hand side with Issa, Skoblov and Skalash in the middle, Miganov on the left wing with Denis Bedrodenko up front on his own. I always want to say massive game, and this very much is a massive game tonight. We lost them early in the season, Van Basten scoring the goal that lost us, and we lost 2-0 in the end. So this is a, as I say, crunch game. First 10 minutes, nothing much is happening. We always relatively slow starters, but there's a free kick. Shusko switches the play. Poliaris on the ball. We've been closed down well by Miguel. Back inside to Andrieskev. Avalov, good tackle. Shows in Luis, knocks the ball long, but it's given back to, the, to Alexandria. Crossfield ball intercepted. Marcus Paolo could be in. Marcus Paolo shoots, but drags his shot wide of the post. We are looking in the bargain basement for any potential signings coming in. They have to be unattached. They have to want peanuts and they have to be pretty decent. So as you can imagine, there's a fairly small pool of players I am looking at at the moment, which is why we haven't seen any signings coming in. I literally can't pay any sort of agent fee, any sort of transfer fee whatsoever. I am literally got nothing. So if you want to join the club, let me know. Pankiv takes a goal kick just before half time. Headed away, but back inside. And Andrew Xenzov picks the ball up. Looks for Marcos Paolo. Marcos Paolo can run at the defence. Good play pass to Van Basten. Van Basten gets past his man, crosses it in. And it's almost put behind, almost put in the goal. Put behind in the end by Stavok. Just about. Corner. 
low corner. Flipped on and passed, takes the ball at his near post. And that will probably take us up to half time. In the last friendly we had, we had absolutely no highlights until the 91st minute and we scored in that one. So I'm not expecting too many highlights today. But it would be nice to score a goal. Kravchenko inside to Issa. Back to Kravchenko. Ball into the box, headed away. Gelchik back inside. Flicks on and it's in! Miganov has scored! Alexander Miganov, the left back playing left wing, got onto the end of Gelchik's cross and headed the ball home. He scored in the last game before the break and he scored in the first game since the break. A lovely header. He shouldn't have got to that really. And he definitely shouldn't have beaten the keeper, but he did do both. And Helios take a 1-0 lead. 20 minutes to go. Starting to feel a little bit nervous. We'll make a change up front. Kudach is going to come on for Bezdrodenko. Kudach hasn't had a great season, which is a bit disappointing. He's due a goal, certainly. He's second choice at the moment. We've got a chance here. Four minutes to go. No highlights here would be absolutely brilliant. Into time added on. Let's just count the clock down. 93rd minute. Gale check down the line. A 1-0 victory for the Helios boys in that one. A lovely goal by Miganov in the second half, securing the three points. A game of very little quality, but we have prevailed. Join me again next time for the next adventure, which will probably be the last game of the season. That will be in three games' time. We'll be playing someone in the Ukrainian Premier League, obviously. So I've been the FM Novice. You've been my audience, and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Have a good evening. Thank you.